hear about slavery for 400 years. For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Sneakers. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also, while you're down there, you might as well just give the video a thumbs up. So today's topic does have to do with Kanye being cut off Adidas. This question is actually up in the air right now because of something that he said on an interview with TMZ. And here's a clip to show you guys what he said. You hear about slavery for 400 years? For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? You know, like... It's like we're we're mentally in prison. I like the word prison because slavery goes di too too direct to the uh, idea of blacks. It's like slavery, Holocaust, Holocaust Jews, uh, slavery is blacks. And here's how a TMZ employee responded to his comment: the Rest of us in society have to deal with these threats to our lives. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was a choice. Frankly, I'm disappointed. I'm appalled, and brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something, to me, that's not real. So to sum it all up, Kanye is saying that slavery is a choice. However, this is not the topic that I'm gonna get into because I'm not getting into the political side of things. I'm gonna stay on the sneaker side of things since that's what this channel's about. And a lot of people have been thinking that Kanye is crazy for saying this. It's gotten the attention of many celebrities and news companies. And I think that this is exactly what Kanye wanted. If you guys noticed, Kanye has not been anywhere on social media since his last album drop, which was the Life of Pablo album. You might have heard some news about him here and there because of his sneakers. However, you have not heard exact news about Kanye West himself. If you guys notice the trend here, he is doing the same thing he did as the last album drop. Before that album, he went MIA pretty much. He went to go live in Japan. And then after that, he started tweeting here and there. And then he made a controversial comment on stage that was broadcasted on TV where he said he will be president in 2020. And this got everybody talking about him. I have decided in 2020 to run for president. And then after that, I think he dropped a music video for his song Famous, where he showed a bunch of celebrities laying down in bed naked, and that got even more people to talk about him. And if you guys look at the trend, he's doing the same exact thing right now. He reopened his Twitter account about a month ago, and then he started tweeting a bunch of stuff. Like literally, he was tweeting every single day, almost every hour of the day, and everybody was retweeting, liking it, and obviously this gets exposure and attention to Kanye West. And no more than a week ago from today, he had an interview on TMZ where he made that comment that slavery is a choice, and this got everybody talking about him again. And this is where Kanye West is a marketing genius. When Kanye started blowing up his own Twitter again, he did announce that he's going to be releasing two albums in the month of June. And this is pretty much marketing for himself, not just his album. Because Kanye West is obviously not just a musician. He's a designer as well for clothing and sneakers. Hence the name of his brand called Yeezy. However, he did have some problems with that name due to some China company that bought out the name. And if you guys want to know more information on what happened with that, you guys can go ahead and click on the I, which is on one of these two corners. So I think the purpose of Kanye making this comment is for him to market himself and get himself out there again, because he did go MIA for a couple months or a couple years, however long it's been since the last album dropped. So he needs to get himself out there again so people start talking about him. Not just his fans, but he needs to expand himself even more. And that's what marketing is about, just expanding yourself and getting yourself out there even more than you already are. So as far as Adidas cutting ties with Kanye, I do not think this will happen at all. I'm pretty sure that Adidas does know that this is another form of Kanye's marketing. And on top of that, Kanye West does make Adidas so much money. I think that's what's keeping Adidas alive and that's what's keeping them on top of Nike. Because without Kanye, Adidas would not be where they are right now. Yeah, they have Pharrell and they're about to get Drake, but I don't think those two people would work with Adidas if it weren't for Kanye blowing Adidas up. As far as Kanye's comment being sincere and thinking that slavery was a choice for 400 years, I think that he might actually think that because he never really goes back on his word. Like everything that Kanye says, Kanye actually has been working towards, such as promising Yeezys for everybody and also becoming president in 2020. Because if you guys notice, Kanye West is actually good friends with Donald Trump and that's very smart of him because that's gonna help him in his campaign in 2020 when he goes to run for presidency. And this just shows you how smart Kanye West is. He knows what he's doing and he does everything with a purpose. At the end of the day, I have to give him credit for being really smart as far as his marketing goes. However, this does not mean that I'm agreeing with this comment saying that 400 years of slavery was a choice. So don't get that twisted, guys. If you guys did enjoy this news on Kanye West, make sure to give it a video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe because our goal by the end of this month is to reach 30,000 subscribers. If you guys have any input and commentary on what you guys think about this whole thing that Kanye West is doing, please leave a comment down below. I want to know what you guys are thinking. Is Kanye West crazy? Is it a marketing scheme? Is he really smart? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Today's fan of the day does go to Obed Paul Beltran Roman. If you want to become a fan of the day, all you gotta do is leave a positive comment down below. Anyways guys, it's been fun. Make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy, I think you're signing out.